Hi, I'm Ian, your SD MLS specialist. Let's talk about how to save a partial listing in Paragon. For mastery in this and all topics, please remember to play, pause, and practice. To start your partial, let's go to the listing icon at the top of the screen. Let's click on it. When you do, you'll see your options appear. We want to move your mouse straight down and hover over the class of property that you wish to add. In this case, I'm choosing residential. Let's click on it. When the new page opens, you will see a new listing input form. The fields with a letter R are required in order to save your listing as active. Right now, I'd like for you to focus simply on the field with a letter P. For residential properties, there are four. The listing date, the expiration date, the zip slash area, and if you scroll down just a bit farther, you will see residential styles. Those are the four fields needed to save a listing as a partial. Since we are here, let's go ahead and choose detached for our residential style. The home I'm entering in is detached or single family home. Now that that has been selected, we can click on save. We'll see that information has simply been entered into this field. Let's scroll back up to the other three fields with the letter P. The home that I'm working with is in the Oceanside area and 92058. I'm going to type that in and then click on it now that I see the option available. Now the other two fields are up here, the listing date and the expiration date. If you are not sure as to what your listing date will be, enter any date. I recommend a date in the future. This will ensure that even if you have everything filled out, your listing will still not go live because the date has not yet arrived. For the expiration date, again, we need a date in the future. Let's put in 1231-2019. These fields can be changed at any time while in partial status. Please make sure to update these numbers to the correct dates before saving your listing as active. Now, with those four fields filled in, the listing date, expiration date, the zip slash area, and way down here, the residential styles, this is all we need to save a listing as a partial. From here we go up to the green save button and anytime you hover over that save button you will see two options. The first option says save listing. The second option save as partial listing. That's what we want today. Let's click on save as partial listing. When you have the partial fields filled in and you click on save as partial listing, you're going to get this wonderful box here that says congratulations. Your listing has been partially saved as partial number, in this case 244465. It will be good for 12 months. At this point you will have two options. Either you can continue inputting information, so we're going to click on continue input, or you are finished for now and you want to go ahead and sign off from Paragon. Let's click on finished as if we were completed for this part of time. When you do that, you're going to return back to your partial page. It should look something like this. We're going to see here the partial that I created, the 244465. Let's start from the beginning to find that partial. 
Let's go up to our listings icon. And now instead of going to residential, we have a partial. So let's go over to the right under maintain and click on the word partials. Your page should open up to your list of partials just like this. And then you can select the ID that matches the partial that you started. Let's click on the 244465. When this opens up, we are now ready to enter in more data. And then save the listing. Anytime you're working with a partial listing, you'll want to go to the save button and then down to save as partial listing. And again, anytime you click on save, make sure to see this box that says congratulations, your listing has been partially saved. If you wish to continue, let's click continue. In addition to filling out more options on this page and then saving, you can also now enter pictures, view a sample report, add documents, or set up times that this property can be shown once it is active on the market. This has been How to Start a Partial. For more training videos, please come to sdmls.com, click on the Paragon icon in the top left corner, and then select Training Videos. This has been Ian, your SDMLS specialist, reminding you to play, pause, and practice.